Okay, this is the video that will walk you through the process from start to finish of setting up the boop counter presets, the boop counter software, the VRC router, and showing it off in game. The best place to start is with the Unity package. So let's just drag that into our project right here. We're going to be setting up on uh, the Wicker Beast here. We need to just find the value factory boop counter folder. And we're going to want to find the Wicker Beast uh, preset. Which is going to be here. If your preset isn't in here, you can use the generic parent constrained one. And generally speaking, if you're not setting up a Wicker Beast, I still recommend looking through the preset tutorial here because it'll cover a couple of edge cases that you should be aware of for your avatar. You can find the link to it in the description. But for a Wicker Beast, which is going to be finding uh, the boop counter preset right here. And if you see a missing script here, that's because you do not have VRC Fury installed, which I recommend installing because all these presets are going to require you to use VRC Fury. Otherwise, you're going to want to merge all these FX menu parameters into your avatar manually. So now let's find the headphone. I'm expanding everything by clicking Alt and the down arrow. And so we're going to find the headbone, drag boop counter into the head, unpack the prefab. And then need to position properly. So our prefab has a proximity contact. Your prefab might not have a proximity contact, in which case you can skip this part. But because our has a contact, we need to set it up so that the root transform of the contact is the head. And now, as you can see, our contact is properly on the nose. Next thing, we need to position the on boop to be pretty much where we want the particles and sound effect to appear. So if we enable it, we can see that it contains particles and sound. And if we want to change these, we can you just drag in a new sound effect here or delete the particles and drag a new one in from the particle process here. But I like how this works, so I'm just going to disable it. Make sure to disable this before uploading, of course. And that's pretty much it. We can now upload our avatar. Now, let's set up boop counter. On launch, you will be prompted to verify your license. Uh, please do so. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the software. Once you have verified, uh, you'll be able to immediately use the boop counter. Uh, you could just start VRChat, as I have now. right? And you can just launch the boop counter. And as you can see, it's already receiving data. Okay, this is something I forgot to mention. But you are going to need to have OSC enabled, which you might not have enabled. So to do that in VRChat, open up your radial menu. Go to Options, OSC, and make sure that this Enable checkbox is on. Uh, once it's on, your avatar will refresh, and now you should be able to... The OSC data should actually be going in and out of VRChat now. You may still need to restart VRChat if you're not seeing chat boxes, um, but once you do, everything should be fine. You have the ports and the routing set up properly. Right? It already is going to work. You can send a boop, and it's going to communicate right out of the box. Right? You don't need to do much. Uh, which is great, uh, but however, you will have to manually start the boop counter every time you launch VRChat or want to use it. Uh, not ideal, but uh, for a very simple setup, you can just just go. You can just use this right now without any issues. However, I want this to automatically start with VRChat, and I also want to use VRC face tracking and some other OC apps, so I'm going to set up the router. So, this thing right here. This is going to be... Starting apps with SteamVR, closing them, and doing routing to multiple OSC apps uh, to and from VR chat, which is great. And so we're going to do that. If you want more documentation on, you can find it in the usage TXT or in the tutorial in the description below. But I'm just going to set up uh, auto start so that it automatically starts with SteamVR, and I'm also going to set up the boop counter uh, route. So what? Uh, do is I'm going to move the boop counter into the routes folder right here. Create a new route called boop counter. Yep. And browse to find the boop counter executable. So it's routes boop counter boop counter exe. And we can just test launch this. Works fine, great. Right? And I'm going to configure so that the output port 9002 matches the receiving from port right here, and I can do that in the configure. And set the receive from to be 9002. Restart the router and start it again. And as you can see, it's receiving from that port. So now, if we start walking around a bit and tab into the boop counter, 
It's not receiving anything because this is just the router. And if we close the router and close the boot counter and launch the router, it'll start the boot counter for us. And we can, as you can see, stuff going on already. And you can see it's receiving data. Receiving data. So the routing works fine there. Great. And now I also want to set up BRC face tracking 5.0. So I'm going to go into route presets and copy this BRC face tracking route preset into our routes folder here. Let's close the boot counter and that. Let's load up configuration. And we already have a port set up here. Um, let's make sure that this output port matches the um, the port on VRC face tracking. It does. You might not be as lucky, in which case you want to go into settings and set up the receive port to be something like like 9023 right here. It's usually by default 9001, so I'm just going to set it to 9023. And it's great. So now, if we close the configuration, launch VRC router, as you can see, face tracking starts, boop counter starts, everything starts great. Now if we close, Everything closes. Now, another thing to note here is your see face tracking has an auto close app set up. This is because it won't properly close automatically as the auto start app auto closing thing does. So we have to have a special case for it, unfortunately, but it works this way. So we're going to keep it. So yeah, if you, for example, want to like have OSC leash on here, let's just set that up real quick. Where's my OSC leash? Okay. So I have my OSC leash right here. I'm just going to put that into the routes folder here I'm going to go into the config of OSC leash and see that it's listening on port 9003 so we're just going to launch the VRC router configuration Let's create a new OSC leash route set this to be 9030 and browse for OSC leash and that's it and then we can start VRC router OSC leash is running Face tracking is running, boop counter is running. Great. And then um, we can close VRC face tracking and everything will close. Perfect. That's pretty much it.